Hi guys, time check. It's four minutes past the hour of one in the morning here in Jeddah and I'm still wakeful for another edition of our ESL lesson with this small board with big lessons. Alright, but before anything else, uh, I'd like to see a little bit of my favorite drink fast. And also, don't forget to uh, make your dictionaries, any dictionary, any dictionaries for that matter, to be handy all the time. So you might be needing it along. All right. So this time we will have <clears throat> past simple tense. First, we have the affirmative statement. Okay, let's have an example. went to the, the hospital yesterday. All right, so we need to use the which form of the verb? We need to use the past form of the verb, of, co of course, or the verb too, all right? So we have to use went instead of go, all right? The normal mistake that we have as a second, as, as, as a learner of the English as a second language is that when we refer to an action that already happened at a specific time in the past, in this example, yesterday, our time reference there is yesterday, we tend to use still the base form or the present form of the verb. No, when you need to use the past form because you're referring to an action that already happened, uh, at a specific time in the past, then we need to use the verb to or the past form of the verb. All right. In this case, we need to use, of course, went and not go. All right. So go conjugates this way. Go as the base form. Went as the past form, and you have gone as past participle form. Okay. Go is just an example of irregular verb, okay? So it conjugates this way. So for the irregular verbs, you need to memorize the forms, of course. For the regular verbs, uh, it will be easy to know the past and the past participle form because you only have to add D or ED or IED for the past form and the past participle form. So you need to have a verb list uh, for the irregular verbs. Okay, and you cannot probably proceed to any lessons about tenses if you still have problem with the basics, especially with the verb forms, all right? So that's the first thing that you really have to go through first, all right? Before you can uh, go ahead with your uh, lessons about, especially about tenses, all right? Okay, so now, Let's have the negative statement. Sorry. Are you still with me? Can you read my handwriting? Okay, for the negative statement, let's use this example, okay? He, of course, you're going to use didn't, and then don't forget, didn't must be followed by a base form. So what is the base form of went? Then you'll go back to the base form. Go, he didn't go to the hospital 
yesterday, for example. Okay, he didn't go to the hospital. The very common mistake is that we tend to use the, uh, the past form of the main verb instead of the base form. Don't forget that when you use do verb as an auxiliary verb, the main verb must be in the base form. That's always a rule, all right? So, he didn't go to the hospital, not he didn't went to the hospital, okay? I remember my English teacher back in, um, I don't know if it was high school, but she had a, a joke saying that uh, uh, she, she had this joke. The student asked the teacher, um, teacher, why did I fail? Why did I failed? He said, why did I failed in your class? And then the teacher answered, that's exactly the reason why you failed. Okay. Funny. <laughs> okay. So you have, don't forget, if you use the, the do verb, any do verb for that matter, if it's uh, used as an auxiliary verb here, didn't, then it must be followed by the base form of the main verb. Okay? Same as true with the question form. Okay? For question form, in present simple tense, you're going to use do and does, or do or does. But in, in, in past simple tense, you are going to use did. And the same rule, the main verb must be in the base form. Did you, then you have to say go, all right? Did you go to, all right. Did you go to the hospital? Okay, did you go to the hospital? So use did and then the main verb must be in the base form. That easy to remember, okay? So just don't forget, okay? The basic rules, of course, all right? So this is how you form the affirmative statement. It's very easy. For the negative statement, you, you need to use didn't and then the base form. For question, you need to use did whether you have singular subject or plural subject and then the verb must always be in the base form okay now how do you make the yes no question sorry the yes no answer okay for the yes no answer for example in this question did you go to hospital then you simply say where should i be writing the yes no all right so yes no Uh, our show team says, can you still read? Okay, so for yes, no answers, if you have yes as an answer, particularly in this question, then you say yes, I did. Or that if you answer no, no, I didn't. As simple as that, okay? So that's it for the past simple tense. All right. when, when do we actually use past simple tense? When you are referring or when you're talking about any actions for that matter that already happened in the past at a specific time. Okay, so there are probably time references you can use and the time references that you can actually use are Time references. Sorry. All right, you have, like I used here, yesterday. Uh, two minutes, for example, ago. So any phrase that has the word ago, all right? Any phrase that has the word last, for example, when you say last week, last month, last year, like that, or um, when I was five, 
or in 1999 any time references that are past okay so with all of these and other time references that uh, specifically that refer to past event then you use the past simple tense all right okay uh, by the way past simple tense has um, a little bit of difference uh, uh, when it comes to usage uh, with that of the present perfect tense, all right? Actually, they have similarities and also they have differences. There is another video for that so that uh, you would know exactly what are the similarities and when, when are they similar and when are they different, okay? You also need to, uh, to know about that. Okay, anyway, so that's it. I hope you totally understand the lesson about past simple tense, all right? Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and share my video and subscribe to my channel. And also there is a notification bell. Just hit it so that you will be notified with any updates in this channel. Bye guys, we got this.